All right, so I had a question as to how you sew uh, vestments, so I'm going to try to try to demonstrate uh, on this piece. So obviously, you have your interlining. I uh, this is an epithelium. I am using um, canvas uh, underneath. So <clears throat> I I lay mine all the way. All the way out put the put the fabric on 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 top of it now most of the time i use uh this stuff which is a roll of uh adhesive big huge roll of adhesive i don't even remember where i got this it was some closeout thing at a store uh, but it's a big, huge roll. I've been using it for years. It's, I mean, there's no telling how many layers are in here or are in this thing. You can tell by all the strings that I have on it, how long it's been here. Um, but I'll put this in between these two layers, then iron this down, and that really helps to to hold down um, the uh, the the fabric here to the to the interlining or the the canvas in this case. I tend to uh, sew my crosses on after that so that it's in between, so that it helps to hold the interlining uh, onto the, to the surface fabric. Okay. And I'll even, I'll even put the inner part here. Um, then I cut my lining, and I'm just using a scrap piece here. I'll cut my lining, and you can basically you can do you can go one of two ways. Um, one is cheaper than the other, um, and one looks better than the other. Uh, so you can you can decide. The the so after this step, after I fuse this together, uh, could, because this is this is where you want to have the most adherence between the layers is right here um whenever you put uh, a third layer so you imagine you've got you've got three layers here going through that sewing machine uh that's a lot of layers that it that you're trying to sew and keep all in exactly the same place um so you know one obviously one idea would be okay i'll i'll uh fuse the liner onto the back. That's one idea. Um, then you'd go through a whole lot more fusing. Um, and I don't even, you know, from my experience, that's not even, that's not even all that helpful. The other option is to go ahead and sew the galloon or the trim, uh, uh, all the way around everything, but only on the inside. Now the advantage to that is that 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 inside um, stitch has now adhered all of this in, in 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 place. That's the advantage of that. It's not going to pucker on you nearly as much as when you're feeding it through uh, the whole thing because these layers are already uh, put together. So <clears throat> that's that's one option uh, is to is to do that. Um, another option is to uh cut your cut your lining in this case i'm using this as an edge then i take uh this stuff called steam machine it comes in a pack with two two rolls in it and you can see that this is just this is two different rolls this is this is um an, an adhesive i run that adhesive you know, you, you pull it out, you pull out the tape and you run it along the edge and then you just fold this over and it sticks to that and you can pull it nice and tight and then iron it down. Then I just trim it off to, to that uh, ironed on line and then I sew the galloon on top of that. Again, I recommend doing, making sure you do two steps. One, iron your galloon before you start to sew it on. That's an important step. Some galloon will will uh, won't it won't make it won't make much of a difference because it doesn't shrink much. Other galloon 
um, especially if it's cheaper stuff, will will uh, shrink a lot. And you don't want to sew it all on, then iron it to flatten everything out, and that galloon starts to shrink and your vestment look terrible. Um, so basically, uh, you can you can kind of see uh, on this one. So that's exactly what I did on here, uh, using that steam machine. Uh, you can see that it it gives me the the option of being able to sew the uh, the galloon on after I so always start sewing on uh, on this side and then sew this side last so that I can get it right up to the edge whereas with uh, the whereas with the the other method um, where you sew it first and then you'd uh, sew the galloon on first then you have to then you have to uh, tuck this underneath the galloon and then sew on top of it now that does eliminate having to use this so it's a bit cheaper but it's it's really difficult to get this to get this tucked in exactly and have uh, as clean of an edge as this is all the way around and in between as you can see so it makes it makes it much tougher um, here's a uh, a nebedronic, uh, you know, same same kind of uh, same kind of operation that you do there on that. Um, sewing that on. So I hope that that uh, answers some of the questions. Uh, but mainly, uh, you want to eliminate any movement as you're sewing. Any movement where this is moving while this up on top is moving. You want, you want this to be sewn down or adhered down so that as you're sewing, it moves along uh, the same. So that you don't have either the, either the front face puckered and, and, and not looking right um, or, the, or the back's all... Uh, puckered and then it just it just won't it just won't lay right when you're wearing the vestments they won't um, they'll look cheap and um, they won't they won't look right and you won't be very satisfied with what you're doing so if you don't have uh, that fusing stuff and even when I even when I do use that fusing stuff it's not super duper strong so I tend to sew a basting stitch all the way around uh, in between these two layers just to keep everything uh, good and lined up on the sides. Uh, but mainly what you're trying to do is keep this fabric on the top, your brocade or whatever it is that you use. I'm using uh, linen here. But you're trying to keep this fabric on the top good and, and, and basically taut um, and keep the, the lining fabric in the back by, by pulling it from both sides, you're trying to keep that nice and taut. Um, and you want to have ironed everything so that if anything shrinks or is going to shrink, it's going to shrink before you've put all of the layers together. That's really, really important.